Shitumwaza is bracing for a major rally today as Nelson Chamisa, leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, emerges from the shadows to address the escalating crisis within the party. The mass recall of CCC legislators and councillors by self-imposed Secretary General Senjizo Chibanga has sparked internal divisions and prompted Chamisa to publicly state his position on the matter. Chibangu, working in collaboration with former MDC Alliance MPs and activists primarily from Bulawayo, has been targeting CCC members, claiming they are no longer part of the party. Notably, Tenai Bidi and Welshman Q, longtime allies of Chamisa, have become the primary focus of CCC activists, particularly online, despite their repeated disassociation from Chibangu. The trolls continue to hound them, straining their relations with Chamisa. Under mounting pressure, Chamisa is set to address a rally at Chibuku Stadium, where he is expected to defend the sidelining of opposition stalwarts and assert that CCC did not inherit the leadership structures of the MDC alliance. The CCC, formed by Chamisa last year after losing control of the MDC alliance to Douglas Monzora, has yet to hold an elective congress, resulting in internal tensions now spilling into the open. Disgruntled CCC members, some of whom are close to Chamisa, have voiced their concerns about being marginalized and reduced to mere spectators within the party. They accuse Chamisa of relying on a kitchen cabinet for day-to-day decision-making. Comprising trusted advisors and friends, tensions have further escalated, with Bitti accusing Chamisa of creating fake social media accounts to attack him. Insiders reveal that Chamisa's trusted lieutenants include organizing Secretary Amos Chibaya and Deputy Spokesperson Gift Ostalos Saziba. However, critics argue that Chamisa has consolidated power, assuming multiple roles within the party and disregarding established structures. When Chamisa launched the CCC, all posts were abolished, further exacerbating divisions among party members. Chibangu's recalls have specifically targeted elected representatives believed to be loyal to Chamisa, leading to widespread speculation about the involvement of senior officials. Last week, Nkub, the former vice president of the party, faced questioning from supporters over his silence on the recalls, with some accusing him of colluding with Chibangu. Nkub's response, indicating he lacked an official platform to criticize Chibangu, exposed the growing sense of marginalization among senior officials. CCC spokesperson promised Mkwananzi dismissed allegations of disloyalty towards Chamisa, emphasizing the need for a team that shares the president's vision for a better Zimbabwe. Mkwananzi expressed the desire for a dynamic team that reflects the diverse composition of society rather than individuals solely driven by personal political ambitions. A prominent CCC member close to Chamisa underscored the party's independence, rejecting attempts to import structures and culture from the MDC or People's Democratic Party PDP. The CCC, as a new entity, has its own leader and structures, separate from any previous affiliations. Bidi, who previously led the PDP after breaking away from the late Morgan Svangerai's MDCP, returned to the MDC alliance alongside Nkub and others before the 2018 elections. They played pivotal roles in supporting Chamisa during the leadership contest following Tsvangirai's passing. In response to the growing criticism, Chamisa took to social media on Friday to denounce the spread of falsehoods aimed at discrediting and maligning him. As today's rally approaches, Kwananzi clarified that it serves as an end-of-year interface with citizens providing direction for the future of the party.